It's being stockpiled a number of strategic locations. Supposedly, uh, I've heard stories, well, it's being mined on the moon, and I have no way of proving that one way or another. Uh, I think we're probably getting it from Russia uh, or and, and or refining it in outer space. What are we uh, shuttling, uh, 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 basically a shuttle, uh, a secret fl uh, shuttle flight, one a week now is going up and back. What are they shuttling? Well, obviously, they've got kind of their own little uh, laboratories up there, space station and all this kind of stuff. Remember, what you're being told is only just a smattering of the truth. It's not the real truth. Maybe it's 5% of the truth. Maybe it's not even that. You can rest assured it's not. you're not getting much. Another uh, strategic metal is this particular bar with some strange crystals on it, the scalenohedral crystals of niobium, titanium, rhenium, copper oxide. This complex group of uh, elements not found on the earth in specific quantities. This was uh, developed at uh, uh, Los Alamos through EG&G and other outfits. Uh, are employed in all black jet uh, aircraft all of them, including the in quote sport model, the little flying saucer we uh, occasionally see over at Groom Lake. And by the way now, if uh, we happen to be uh, with a video camera, you know, uh, taking pictures of the so-called area around Groom Lake, it's now, uh, you, you, can, you can get your equipment confiscated, your car, your house, you're considered the same thing as a drug dealer, and you'll go to jail for uh, five year, up to five years and a million dollar fine. I personally don't think this is what I'm hearing. Uh, I, 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 I just don't think that uh, this uh, kind of punitiveness is what we need in America. and We have to get rid of it, otherwise we're going to die with no America. Uh, here's some other elements. Here's a very light element. It's uh, composed of uh, lithium metal as well as a alien element, uh, a little heavier than hydrogen, but a little lighter than helium, also employed in this. It's uh, used uh, in secretive methods of uh, propulsion. And it also is in a peculiar scalenohedral crystalline form. And anything scalenohedral, and by the way, a scalene triangle is uh, no side is equal to another side, a scalenohedral metallic crystalline structure is definitely an alien element or alien uh, uh, technology converted over to our own technology. These uh, were given to me about a year ago. They're called alien, uh, um, alien or uh, aurora drops. Uh, it's supposedly the skins of the black jets, uh, uh, some of the ones that are coming in at very high rates of speed. Uh, they're still glowing. Uh, red hot to white hot and they'll sit out there and cool off and they're dripping their material off of them and it's kind of like a, 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 a rubberized w coating uh, uh, it's not rubber I can tell you that this is hard as uh, lava rock or harder capable of withstanding tremendous temperatures but nonetheless some of it sloughs off every time and so they just kind of scoop it up and throw it in the trash can there are a few pieces of it Here's one of the hardest uh, so-called man-made rocks. Uh, once again, it, it's, uh, it's got uh, a number of alien uh, uh, counterpart. Uh, uh, it's got an alien crystalline structure to it, very advanced. It's uh, about 11 times harder than a diamond, about 70 times stronger than a diamond capable of standing temperatures in excess of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is employed, employed as very thin coatings or windows, tiny windows, in hypersonic aircraft, aircraft that exceed Mach 5. Here's uh, an interesting artifact. Right here in this hunk of rock, which by the way was an old 100,000 year old chipping tool found in uh, Syria, uh, Jordan rather, excuse me, uh, is a imprint of, it looks like a fossil but it's not, 
It's an imprint of a small mechanical part with a exactly 360 kind of little rotor blades. Well, this rock is 220 million years old. Who was uh, making machines 220 million years ago? Maybe Von Doniken was right after all, huh? Here we have a actual piece of agatized fruit, or it's similar to a lime. It's even been pecked by a bird at one time, and that's still there. So it was instantly turned to agate. It is the same agate or chemical structure as material found at Hiroshima and Nagasaki after the A-bombings in World War II, where grasses and flowers and fl uh, fl petals of flowers and other kinds of things were instantly petrified, turned to agate. It is the same identical crystalline structure. However, this particular piece is about 20 million years old, and it's still got its original green coating, and it's uh, basically unchanged, perfect condition. Uh, likewise, here's a garlic plant about uh, somewhere between uh, 20 and 35 million years of age, and once again, it's got that same pink agate coating. And here are uh, some pieces of the metal skin from the crash disk at Roswell. Uh, it was given to me when I was 14 years old. My father was uh, visiting uh, one of his old friends in, uh, in uh, in uh, uh, the Navy archives as well as he was in the uh, Royal Navy in England and I as a 14 year old boy I says gee uh, dad can I have uh, can I ask uh, Johnny something oh go ahead ask him get anything you can from him you know that kind of thing this is well gee uh, Johnny well do you think I can have a piece of this uh, metal oh no no you can't have that and I says oh I'll give it to the kid what the heck he won't have it very long anyway well I've had it all this time kind of a unique thing. Uh, they were able to break the skin of that craft, by the way, by dropping it into a bath of liquid nitrogen, hitting it with a mechanical or hydraulic hammer, and it shattered into little bits. And it was later analyzed and, uh, and adapted for our own technology. All these artifacts are fine, but once again, the main part of this talk is where is it all leading to? We get very little spin-off to uh, where any of this is leading to. Occasionally we'll get a new computer or maybe a, a quartz watch or, or some uh, little trinket, like uh, uh, kind of like giving the Indians beads a couple of hundred years ago while we're getting these little spin-offs. But the black budget still rolls on, garnering up over a, a trillion dollars every two years. It's somewhere between 1.023 trillion and 1.31 trillion dollars every two years. And every, every year it goes by and the black budget is unchecked, un, un, unaccounted for, it's just subverting our country. That's number one. Number two is that these underground military, first of all, if there was something like a nuclear war or, or uh, uh, there was a definite enemy out there where uh, we were going to be under attack, uh, like from China or someplace like that. I could see maybe a, a, a couple of dozen underground bases uh, for a government, and uh, uh, so it, it could theoretically come, come uh, rise up like the phoenix out of the ashes. Well, not 131 of these. And uh, if you were going to uh, so-called round people up and put them in prison camps, well, what a better prison camp than underground, where uh, nobody knows where it is anyway. So uh, once again, uh, these underground bases uh, are most likely uh, 